Hello, I'm Ray Madursky, and I want to say welcome to A Baker's Passion. Today, <clears throat> I'm doing number five in our series of things to do with our puff pastry. So what we're going to do today is really probably getting us ready to make the next two desserts. We're going to make the conversation, which is a shell of puff pastry, but it has a, cap, a lid on it. And the lid is decorated very beautifully. This is a pastry that has evolved from the Petivier and the Gâteau Le, Le Bois kind of pastries. And it has an almond cream. Now, some people used to make it with frangipan, but I think it's much nicer and more delicate if you use the lighter version of frangipan, which is almond cream. Uh, the pastry is a knockout. And Again, it's one of these things, if you make this and present it to your guests or your family, whoever, and say, oh, here's what I made for you, you're going to dazzle people. Because this is one of the great triumphs of people who like to bake, knowing how to use puff pastry and make a dazzling dessert. And the other thing is, is it tastes wonderful. But let me warn you, this is intense. This is an almond pastry. The almond cream, it's homemade, basically, almond paste that we're filling this pastry with. So, uh, make sure you're really in the mood for that kind of a thing. Otherwise, move on to the Petivier, it's a little more delicate. But I love it, and the thing that's really kind of wonderful about this pastry, the top piece of dough is decorated with a royal icing. You just whip an egg white, put some powdered sugar in it, and boom, you have the uh, the decoration for the top. And then I did cut my strips a little bit too thin. You'll see in the video uh, the strips are a little bit thin. You should make them probably a quarter of an inch wide when you cut them to decorate. But this is one of the dazzling, dazzling desserts in the French repertoire. And I personally, I'm an almond person, so I love almond paste. I love the almond cream as it's used here. And I even love frangipan. I make many tarts for myself and for when I'm entertaining just with frangipan cream because it's so wonderful. Okay, so let's get started. And this is the Gâteau Conversation. It's not really a gâteau, it really is a tart, but the name Gâteau is what people tend to use with this. Now I've rolled out my bottom piece for the conversation. We're just going to dock it lightly. Now I'm going to get it into the shell and there's a special way that I work the collar to get the lip that we'll need to have the pastry top stick to the shell. Here I have my bottomless tart ring on a buttered piece of parchment and I buttered the ring. Now what we want to do is get our pastry lining the tart ring and we really want a little bit of overhang as we do this. So again, you want to lift the pastry and make sure you push it snug along the sides of the tart ring. And try not to stretch the dough as you're doing this because the idea is just to allow the dough to kind of do its own thing. Okay. So now what we want to do is all along the top of the dough with our fingers just pinch a small edge inside the tart. Now 
Oh, I got a little short there, but we'll be okay. Okay, so that's all you do, and I have a little bit of a lip here that I've formed by just pinching the extra dough. It would be great if we had it all the way around, but we don't, but we'll, as you'll see when I put the tart together, it'll be absolutely okay. And I am going to trim the excess dough here. Now that I have my little lip formed, but we're still going to allow a little bit of an overhang to be there. It's not much, just a tiny bit. scraps of dough so we just fold them on themselves and we'll refrigerate them. This will go in the fridge now for two hours. Now I'm going to place the almond cream into the prepared shell for the conversation. Then once again, it will go back into the refrigerator once we have the lid on and chill for an hour. And then we'll put royal icing on the top, decorate it, and give it another hour's rest. So the really important thing whenever making any of these desserts are these really drawn out rest times. There's nothing to do though just needs the coal to relax the gluten. And if you do that, you'll have incredible success with all of these classic French pastries and Swiss pastries and whatnot. And you'll just be able to dazzle your friends and family with some really amazing desserts. Okay, so you want to leave a little bit of room because this guy really does puff this cream. So I'm going to leave it. Like so. Okay. Now, <clears throat> just take some egg wash and brush right along in here on this tab of dough and you'll see how we put the top onto the pastry. of my dough just to really make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Okay, so I have my piece of dough and what we do is just place it right over the conversation. There's going to be a little bit of an indent you see here and we actually want that. That's a good thing. Okay, but we do kind of want to bring the dough in and down onto the actual cream. Now, simply take a rolling pin and just come right across and trim the dough. Voila, 
that's it. There we go. Now I'm going to save these pieces to cut the strips that will decorate the conversation. So there we go. And I'll put these back into the fridge. And now the uh, formed pastry goes back too for about an hour. So here we go. We have the pastry all ready to go and that edge will now continue sealing. You could even do a little bit of pressing here and then lots of relaxing. Okay, I'm just making the royal icing for the top of the conversation. see it's just egg white, a few drops of lemon juice, and about three, one egg white, and about three to four ounces of the powdered sugar. So let's assemble the conversation. Okay, so just put onto the top of the conversation and then just spread it try to get it as evenly as you can all over the top Just pinch the ends. And once again, the conversation goes back into the refrigerator for one hour. You want to kind of let a skin form on the royal icing. When we bake it, we begin at 425, 15 minutes, lower to 400, 15 minutes, then we go down to 325 and finish baking it. Well, I hope this demonstration of how to assemble and get your conversation put together has been helpful. The conversation, I don't know where it first appears, but it is one of the variations on the Petit Vier and the gâteau of the Three Kings, uh, the Le Gâteau de Roi. And uh, these are all things utilizing puff pastry with some kind of a filling. And I would guess that the conversation is a little bit later and it's dressed up with the top and whatnot. And the cream is a little bit different than a Bativier cream and you assemble it very differently. So you do need for this dessert to have a tart ring to really make it work. You could probably do it in another shell, but then the trick is going to be lining so you could lift it out 
because you can't turn it upside down, you'll just break the top. And the top is simply the royal icing, okay? So please send me feedback, questions, requests, whatever. If you want to contact me, it's rfm2121 at gmail.com. And I hope you'll try these recipes. Go to my blog, which is www.bakerspassion.com, and try the recipes. Uh, we're going to take more ventures and get a little more uh, daring, and we're going to do work on things like uh, Danish pastry and then croissant further along in the fall. I'm actually going away the beginning of September. So I won't be back until very late in September. So uh, visit the website, visit the blog, and please like the videos on YouTube. Now for my favorite part of every baking experience. And today, actually, this is my fifth piece of pastry because I've done all these guys, coordinated them together. But here we go. Mm. Again, unique use of almonds and traditionally this used to be done with the frangipan which is a little bit heavier. I have lightened it using just almond cream and it is just amazing guys. It has the character of almond paste but it's a little more gritty and grainy because of the texture of the almonds. You can toast your almonds and then grind them. It gives even more depth and flavor to the pastry. It's one of the world's great pleasures, especially if you're an almond lover. So for a baker's passion, Ray Madursky, have a great day. Mm. So delicious.